On today's episode of Inside the Lens, I complain about complainers. Hey everybody, welcome to Inside the Lens episode five. Five episodes. Not bad. That's four more than I thought I'd create. Have you ever been around someone that is really annoying because all they do is complain and complain and complain? Like you? Maybe you've been guilty of that yourself. I know I have. What I want us to look at is what that actually does. I remember as I started posting my photos online, it was the glory days because I had no idea what was possible. When I would get a few likes, I'd be quite excited about it. But what happened was I started to look at other people's work. I started to look at other people's reach. Dun, dun, dun. And what I found myself beginning to do was become very judgmental. Now being judgmental of someone else's work can get you into some serious trouble. When you start to resent someone else's success, who do you think it hurts? Do you think the person that has posted that photo or whatever work they've posted really cares what you think? I'm going to say that the only person it really hurts is yourself. Because as you start to judge other people's work based on what? Yes, your own. Because see, that's the real thing here. You're judging based off what you think you can do. And what you've actually started to do is place yourself in levels. Well, I'm better than this person, but I'm not quite as good as this person. And what happens is when the person that you think you're better than starts to see a little bit of success, you start to freak out. And I've talked about a similar thing before with followers because when you are trying to build followers, you can neglect the content and the quality of the content just to try to get more followers. So rather than trying to grow followers, try creating content in a culture that will actually attract followers. But the number one detractor of you actually growing something, of you actually growing an audience, growing, growing a, a culture, creating something awesome, actually comes back down to the one creating. If you start to complain about everyone else around you, how good they're doing when their work isn't as good as yours. Hey, look at that guy's work. That guy's work is not even close to as good as mine. He sucks. I should be way better than him. Well, it does something to you. It actually causes your quality to go down. Like I said, I am guilty of this very thing. There was, a, there was a stint that I would look at other people's work and wonder why they had so much and I didn't because I thought my work was better. There are times that, you know, crazy cat videos, that is why I don't like you. You like cats, don't you? See, I knew it. Where stupid videos, stupid pictures, it seems, go viral. They, they grow and grow and grow, and the accounts that people are posting those things on seem to grow and grow and grow and grow. Now, if you find yourself looking at those accounts and saying, well, why do they suck, yet they're growing so much, you've missed a very important point. The point is, they have touched into a market that wants what they're posting. That's it. Just focusing on photographers for a minute, you have to understand something. Photography in today's world has been flooded into every market out there. And so when someone comes up with some new idea, some way to photograph something, something that kind of catches on, of course people are gonna copy it because it worked, because it looked different, because it stood out. It doesn't really matter if people are just doing the same thing over and over. The point is that first guy that created that was onto something. And so rather than complaining about it now, what I'm trying to do is to create something that will stand out, to create something that, you know what, other people will copy because I don't really care if they copy it. I want them to copy it because when they copy it, what does it do? Eventually it's gonna come back to the person that created it all. When you're a kid, what your mom always says to you when your younger siblings bugging you and doing the stupid copycat game, well, copying someone is the highest form of flattery. Well, you know what? It actually is pretty true. As people start to imitate and mimic your work, it means that you've actually done more than just capture a moment. It means that you've created something that people are starting to feed into. 
Think about going from something as simple as film to digital photography. Film was the base, film was the standard, but what happened was it went into something digital. And as people started to get around that culture, it just exploded and overtook the other. Well, let's say all of a sudden taking photos of cups becomes the craze. Well, you can say what you want about photos of cups, but what happens is, is people get on board with that idea, like now we have to photograph cops and it starts to take off. Well, the first person that started creating the culture around a cup actually gets the reward of everybody following that culture. Now, let me say this. It might not necessarily be in followers or likes or even fame or notoriety. But what I'm really trying to point at with this is it doesn't matter. Now, Jesse, okay. If you don't have fame or notoriety, people looking at your stuff, you're going to be a poor loser. What I'm actually saying is if you're a little bit smart about this and you create something like that and you see what's happening, then you can jump all over owning that creation. The people that don't let their ideas expand, the people that, that want to keep control over the creation that they made, those are the ones that are gonna get stuck with nothing at the end. If you are lucky enough to be one of the ones that create something that catches on, let people run with it. Let them run with it all over the place. See where it goes. Side note, this is why I have an issue with people watermarking their images with big like, this is my photography page. Things everywhere. No one copied this without permission. Relax. There's so many tools on the internet now that you can easily track down someone that steals one of your images. I've had it happen multiple times. In fact, I want something like National Geographic to use one of my photos without permission because dun dun dun, dun paycheck. Let's talk about complaining now. If you start to blame someone else for you not being successful, to me it says that you really don't want to be. I remember when I was at my darkest times of complaining, my creativity was sucked out of me. Everything I took looked horrible. I couldn't get around anything I did. Nothing I did creatively satisfied me because I was always trying to impress someone else. I was always comparing myself to someone else. Now, let me tell you something. This is a great tool for absolutely anybody. Do you want to be discontent your entire life? I know how to do it. All you need to do is compare yourself with everybody else. If you start to do that, you're gonna be horribly disappointed with everything you create. Even if you went through multiple operations to make yourself look and sound exactly like the person you wanted to be like, you would lay in bed at night knowing that wasn't really you. So how do we change it? How do we actually overcome that? How do we look at other people's work? How do we look at what they're doing good and not be discouraged ourselves? Well, there's a couple options. One. Don't look at anybody else's work. That's really hard to do when we're supposed to interact on social media and stuff. The second option and the one I try to live by is while I'm looking at someone else's work, I'm brutally honest with myself. I remember looking at a photographer's photograph and he had a lot of likes on it. And I would say, oh, I'm not gonna like that. Look, he already has like this many likes. Why should he have mine? What that was doing was hurting me because I couldn't evolve past that point. I was stuck in the judgment. And so what I did is I started to become brutally honest. When I would scroll past something that I liked, I would like it right away. I didn't care who it was or what following they had. If I liked the photograph, I liked it. And what happened over time was it started to break something in me. Up to this point today where I can look at someone's work and not care how successful it is. If it's good work, it's good work. Here's another thing as well, as I mentioned about the cat videos or the photos of cups. If it starts to change a culture and people follow along with it, then they've decided. Who gives us the right to say what people like or don't like? I dislike Tim Horton's coffee. Oh no, I don't like Tim Horton's coffee. And that's because I like strong coffee. I like coffee that puts hair on my chest and I have some of that. See, what we do, we get into the trap of saying our opinion is truth. Why do we do this? You like movie A, I didn't like movie A. I liked movie B, you didn't like movie B. So much of this stuff, especially in the art world, is really subjective to what someone likes. 
And so let me ask you this. Have you found yourself starting to complain about other people? Are you frustrated that they have more followers than you? Is it irritating every time you scroll down and you see how many likes they get on their photo? Are you upset because people are hiring them? Well, Jesse, you have no idea the conspiracy hired against us to make us little guys look bad. Okay, I'm sorry, correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't everybody start at zero? Weren't we all born into the world the same way? Yeah, people had different childhoods and different upbringings. But in no way do I believe that being creative is a result of your upbringing. Being creative is something that you have the ability to do. And if you want to see that broken inside of yourself, just complain about everything else around you and why you're not successful yet. Look at these videos I'm making right now. I'm hardly getting any likes on them. So why do it? Should I be just frustrated with every other person that makes videos that are worse than mine and they get a ton of views? Or do I actually believe, no, this is it, do I believe I'm changing a culture, creating something that will captivate a market? I really believe that's what's happening. And I believe that so many of you can do the same thing. Don't let complaining hold you back. Start today. Don't wait till tomorrow. Start today. Stop complaining about everyone else around you and start creating. Don't be a complainer. It is what's going to stifle your creativity the most. And that ends this rant. And now it's time for the snap of the week. I recently attended the Edmonton Craft Beer Festival. Let me just say that it was delicious. Delicious times down at the YEG Beer Fest. I look forward to next year. Actually, it's the annual beer fest, uh, just in the hotel room, downtown Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, Jared's brushing his teeth, Nikki's texting me. Here we go! There it is. The first ale of the evening. Edmonton Craft Beer Festival. Having a good time here at the uh, Edmonton Beer Festival. Hiding under the camouflage. There's the beer fest out there. Hey Alex, yeah. I found our twins. <laughs> There's one. There's the other one. <laughs> they did it. Awesome. Hey everybody, I'm here with Nick McQuick. How can they find you, Nick? I'm a world famous comedian. Just go to a comedy club. I'm always there. That's awesome! Here we are at YG! Jesse is so incredibly good looking, he's about to get a caricature of his beautiful face for free! Here they come, coming down the corner, around the corner, yeah. through there, there they go. Here we are, Queen Donaire, Jared, Alex, John, me, Jasper Ab, Edmonton, Alberta. In closing, remember this. If you're going to complain about something, let it be about complaining. I have a question of the day today. I want to know who inspires you. Leave the links to their Instagram or their YouTube page in the comments below. I want to check out all those people that you find inspiring. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Inside the Lens. I'm Jesse Martineau. And remember, don't just capture moments, create them.